Hello world, let's do this. Okay guys, as you know I'm Shay, this is not dead yet, and I'm at the skate park for the second time. Let me just give you a quick look around. This is the one that you've been seeing a bit of, and you saw me dropping in on that one over there. It's a pretty simple skate park, but it's challenging for someone like me. So you got transitions here, come across, you got a tabletop, you got a rail here, you got a flat top there, and then you have those over there. That one over there is the one with the wonky bump in it. That's just really steep. And there's a good quarter pipe in the middle. So this is just what I've got to work with here. It's my local skate park. Doesn't cost anything to get in. And I'm just enjoying it while I learn simple things like getting used to transition and that. So, yeah. So this is what I'm doing today. As you can see, I've already done it. This is intros <laughs> after I've done some skating. Anyway, check it out. This is me at the skate park. Second time only. And I'm having a ball. How about you? What are you guys doing? That side, that side has uh, a big bump in the transition, so it's really weird. But that one is smoother, but it's steeper. <laughs> so I'm still warming up, so let's just see how we go. As you know, from the earlier videos, I pushed Mongo, but I stressed out my calf muscle, so I'm struggling to walk on my left foot. It's been days, but it's, been, it's a lot better now. I just wish this was in front of that one. I'm comfortable on that one. I'm still getting used to that one. That one's pretty steep, so I might have a go play around with that. drop in so I've got speed from here and then try a kick turn. Uh, still warming up. Let's see how we get. the pump so I didn't go up as high but I got a turn
Yeah, so, uh, that's better. Let's see if I can go high enough to come back up and maybe rock and roll this little ledge. Got it. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, only just. Maybe I'll get some confidence by the end of this session to actually roll in from here. I'm still just gonna drop in there. Feels like I'm getting all the way up uh, near the Kobe. seem like much but when you're on top it looks more so I'm gonna try and build up to a rolling let's see how we go Got the rolling. Oh, nerve wracking, but I'll get there. Uh, let's just enjoy it and keep going. Legs feel a little like jello, not used to it. It's not even up to my hips. But when you're standing up there, it seems a lot higher. So it's just getting used to it. I'm gonna try and go down the other side. Yeah, so this part here, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can really come out. But around about here, it kind of got a little hump on it. Doesn't look it, but there is. And it's a little off putting, especially for a beginner. But I'll get there, I'll get there. Having a smooth transition is so much easier. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's so much smoother, that one. Uh. Let's see if I can do this without stuffing up my phone. Okay, so for those who, this is what it looks like. 
those who don't skate, for those who do, this is just nothing, most of, most of you. But this is what I'm seeing when I go, hopefully I won't break my phone. They come up, and that's what I'm facing. So there's head height, that's my eye level. So the coping's, oh, coping's probably around my chin. And that's what it looks like there. So when you come up, you see them a lot higher. Okay. I'll see if I can get it when the board goes all the way over. So the board goes over and then down. Okay. So what does a drop in look like? Boards like that. You can see the boards up. This is an easy drop in because I can lower the board. And that's where I'm looking at. So why is that different from this? Because look, when you got that there, you got all that space to come down. So that's why that's scary. That's what I'm building up to. So I'm starting on there. So I'm just enjoying it, enjoying the feeling, and see how we go. I did it. I got enough speed pumping to get back up on the other side. That was a huge thing. Oh! Oh. I wrapped about that one. Oh. Now I know some of you are thinking about my leg problems. If I'm careful, there's not a lot of impact on this. It's more about using muscles and the... I'm using muscles in skateboarding you don't really get at the gym that's what I'm finding really interesting yeah like I've, I've mentioned several times I'm a personal trainer so I've been doing a whole bunch of other stuff in the gym and this is triggering muscles that how do I put it there's only a few exercises in the gym that seem to hit certain muscles that I'm feeling with skateboarding so it's really eye-opening and interesting and even though it doesn't seem like I'm doing something I'm rolling down the hill but then I got a pump so I'm using my legs using my shift of body weight and all that sort of stuff and it's hitting different areas so it's really interesting and I'm really enjoying that and but these muscles haven't been used for so long even though I've been going to the gym for a few years now it's just like there's muscles that haven't been used in the gym it's just it's just really unusual but it's really interesting and informative at the same time so I'm just enjoying it and going with the flow so I'm gonna put you over here and I'm gonna try and get me coming up and then giving enough speed to roll back up because that's a lot because that is a big flat so and I'm not going all the way up to the coping so I've got to really push and really pump to get up there so let's see how I go with it okay so I'm going down there and I come up and this is what it looks like if you were on the top so that's what it looks like for a drop in. That's a lot of space to get down onto the concrete. And I'm not there yet. So, that's huge. So, if you want to know what it looks like, look at that. 
that's the angle I've been dropping in and rolling in on. So then we come across, and that's the angle. It's like, whoa, it's a bigger transition. So after that one, I don't know if I'd roll in on that one first, but I reckon this would be my next drop in. Because if you come across here, A, it's not as high. You can see it's about a foot and a half more. But it's not as steep either. But I'm not there yet either. But I'll get there. And if you're enjoying this, smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm interested to hear if anybody's curious about why or what or all that sort of stuff. But I, I just scrub all that in my introduction. But yeah, I'm just finding this really interesting. I hope you get interested in this. And if you ever thought about skateboarding, maybe you'll pick it up. But yeah, this is really interesting. And I'm just getting back into it. Just baby steps. Um, and just seeing where I end up. Okay, I'm gonna skate some more. So check it out. Okay, some of you are probably wondering why I just keep going backwards and forwards. I go up and go back without turning around. I'm trying to learn how to fakie, which is basically keeping your feet in the normal position and then riding backwards. If my feet were as if I was riding normal, but they were backwards, that'd be called switch. But I've always sucked at riding fakie. And there's a lot of tricks that I've got to try and learn. That you really should be riding fakie or landing fakie. So I've got to be comfortable with that. So that's kind of what I'm doing here, especially if I do a ramp. Ramp, there's a lot of fakies. So I've got to get comfortable doing that. And that's basically what I'm doing. When I go up and I don't turn around, I just come back down. Because it's really weird feeling because I'm so used to just going one way. Another thing I've realized, I'm getting razor tail on this board. And mind you, I've hardly done anything. I'm trying to preserve it because my boards used to have no tail because I just wear them away. And this is a light, thin board, so I noticed the first day I got it, I did one little tiny tail, you know, tail scrape and hold half the board cable. <laughs> Not quite. But I'm trying to preserve it until I can get a better board. But even then, just normal wear and tear, things go down, so... Oh well, that's the way it goes. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm having a ball. enjoying it oh, yeah. that might be the next roll in I would got to attempt and so this is the next roll in I want to attempt and you're like oh that seems nice and easy not as bad as the last one oh, there you go. that's what I've been rolling in on and that's the other one so what's it look like from the top? This is what it looks like from the top. It looks steep as hell. But if I rolled in here, I could probably get air off that one. So yeah, 
it's just like let's just enjoy it I'm happy with doing the little stuff I'm doing yeah I'm easy going although I'm getting high enough on that one transition if I get some speed I could probably get up to the coping on the small one that I started out on so it'd be interesting to see but I don't know we'll see anyway back to video If you're enjoying this video, smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, all I can say is one thing. Not dead yet! <laughs>